Hey, welcome back everyone to another build video. My name is Hexers, and today I'm going to be showing a build by request for the Devil Joe's weapon known as the Oppressor's Charge Blade. Now, before we begin, I do want to mention that this charge blade, while extremely awesome looking, uh, just felt a little lackluster in damage to most of the other charge blades, and left me actually somewhat disappointed. Um, nonetheless, though, I still feel like it deserved its own video, even if only to give others an idea of what to expect uh, if you're looking to make this charge blade. Uh, but let's get into the gear. Now, for the weapon, we have it augmented with affinity and attack to help out with that negative affinity. The attack could probably be swapped out for a health regen just for a little more manageability. But for the gear, we have the Dragon King Eye Patch, Damascus Mail Beta, Kaiser Van Braces Beta, Nergigante Coil and Greaves Beta, as well as a Handicraft 3 charm. Now for stats, we'll have the Attack Boost 4 for the 12 attack and 5% affinity, Weakness Exploit for the 50% affinity to weak points, Focus 3 to increase the charge up on our files, as well as the reduced time to execute our charge slash. Handicraft 3 to give us a little more white sharpness to work with. Maximum Might 3 for the additional 30% affinity while at full stamina. Dragon Attack 1 to boost the Dragon Attack damage to 240. And Capacity Boost to give us that additional file. But let's go ahead and take a look at the jewels to see how we socketed this to achieve these stats. Okay, so we have the Charger Jewel in the Eye Patch, two Attack Jewels in the Damascus Mail, as well as a Dragon Attack Jewel, a Mighty Jewel in the Kaiser Van Braces and Nergigante Greaves, as well as a Magazine Jewel in the Nergigante Coil. But let's go ahead and see how this build does against a tempered Nergigante. Alright, so we're just going to prep up here, pop a Demon Powder. I'm also going to drink a Mega Demon Drug here. Get the Rock Steady Mantle ready. And then we're going to jump right in. Get off some of those Charge Slash. And load them right into our shield. Oop! There we go. Nice little guard point there. Oh, he missed. I thought he was going to hit with that. Alright, here we go. We just go straight into a super amped elemental discharge. As you can see, those files did 14 damage a hit. I mean, that's really disappointing. Go ahead and do a. See, the charged sword does a decent amount. Go ahead and do some more charge slash. Knocked him over. I'm noticing you get a lot better damage off with regular hits than you would the super amped elemental discharge. I mean, it's a great hit, still does a decent amount of knockdown. But I really think that this weapon shines in less of the... Oop, am I going to even hit that? No. Oh, okay, so we need to charge the sword. Oh, okay. Took a massive hit here. We just go ahead and pop a max potion here. Oh, he's already limping. Um, I don't feel like I did a whole lot of damage to him. I'm not sure what happened. We're going to charge the sword just so I'm not bouncing. Charge it up. See if I can get a little closer here. There we go. Nice hit. Oop. 
Oop. All right, we're already at green sharpness. Oh, where's he going? Let me just go ahead and sharpen up real quick. What's he going all the way over there for? This has to be one of the more weird pathings that I've ever seen him take. He was almost dead and decided to come over here. Let's go ahead and just load these into the shield here. Charge up the sword. Okay, he's exhausted. Take advantage of this. Oh, that was poor positioning on my part. And he's gonna try and limp away. He's just running. Let's see, can I get him here? There we go. Oh, that was anticlimactic. All right, let's take a look at the time here. All right, so four minutes and 24 seconds. Um, overall, I love the way this weapon looks, but unless you're used to ele elemental file discharges being as wonky they are, and from the lack of the discharge of the element itself, um, I find it hard to make this weapon something that I'll actually use in the future. And at least until they remove the limit cap on elemental damage for the files. Uh, the increase in its raw is nice, not to mention, I mean, the other attacks do feel like they do a substantial amount of damage, but it just doesn't feel like it has enough oomph when it, you could be using the Hazak, Diablos, Nergigante, or even the Rathian charge blades. Uh, so, it's a decent weapon. It uh, gave us a decent clear time, you just may have to adjust your play style. Uh, and use other attacks to take better advantage of this. Uh, but thank you for all for taking the time to watch my video. Uh, if you did enjoy the content, please like and subscribe. And as always, happy hunting!